I've worked with Paul Thompson. Okay, let's hear about Paul Thompson. Uh, this is back in 79. Mm -hmm. I'd done something at um, Theater uh, Theater Plus? Anyway, yeah. Um, they blew my up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was so he, what is, Arden, sure. I have something I want you to do. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, yeah, okay, well, do you have a script? He said, no, 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 but there's something I want you to do. It's about a trumpeter. It was a new script developed from the book. I don't know if you know the, the, the book. It's like poetry. You start, you read something on page 76, mm -hmm. which was the beginning of something that was said on page 22. Hmm. It's like a fellow going mad, right? Because right. his body bold and was supposed to go mad. I learned to play the trumpet for that thing. I couldn't play because <laughs> there were musicians on stage <laughs> from the Musicians Union. Oh, no, really? They would have to pay me oh. <laughs> as a musician. Oh, man. Uh, it so happened that I knew the guy. But Paul was was great. Like, he, one of the things he said, and I'll never forget it, he said, I never asked an actor to do something that I can't do for myself. Right do a handstand or anything that <laughs> and he had yeah. this energy and, and drive you know and, and, mm -hmm. and that. but y you know uh, it was great uh, and Michael Andache what was he like Michael was very nice he's a very nice man gentle knows what he wants but when we did that piece mm -hmm. it came after Billy the Kid right and what was done to it, he didn't really like that Bobby chose some parts that he thought should have been kept in and whatnot and so on. Right, okay. So the original thing had me doing one half hour, a 20 minute and a 15 minute soliloquies. Hmm. Right, I'm ranting and raving. Wow. So uh, at the beginning of the play, there, there, there's a, a, a dance, somebody doing an oyster dance, stripping. I never saw it because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm off stage. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a club, right? She's stripping and doing this stuff. <laughs> and so then I come on and I'm going all the way through, going mad in a parade and everything, mm -hmm. and ended up being. So just before, I keep saying, Michael, you got to cut, we got to cut. And I worked out some cuts and then I got. Paul to agree and so on. Mm -hmm. The Sunday night before we opened, Susan Saran came to see it and said, no, got to cut, it's too long, too mm -hmm. long, too long. It was running about three hours and something. Wow. Something close to that. Oh, okay, yeah. Too long. So <laughs> I'm happy now because besides being very taxing as an actor, it, it was just too long. Mm -hmm. It was lots of poetry, you know, lots mm -hmm. of poetry. So it, it, I had my cuts ready, so by Mm -hmm. Tuesday I had it all everything so we got it on and good but Michael mm -hmm. was was really nice because and he invited me for lunch and another time for dinner and he prepared and whatnot he really appreciated what we did right because he came to understand afterwards mm -hmm. that it was was really a lot you know mm -hmm. and then wh when he did the English patient and it turned into the movie by that time he knew it he knew the that yeah and it was even <laughs> more so in in, in the, in the so that was real uh, a really good exercise it was really something Paul and his energy mm -hmm. and Michael and his uh suavity <laughs> <laughs> is he Michael suave is he? Nice, yeah. huh. and then another person that passed me I was uh mm -hmm. Clark Rogers okay What's Clark, now, Rogers, Clark like? Rogers? Again, very nice. I, I knew f him from before in passing and so on. Mm -hmm. Hey, what not and so on. He knew I went to theater school. Mm -hmm. He called me and asked me to do a play by Hector Bunyan, another one which was Hector was new. Right. First time we read it, it was close to five hours. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it was a oh daunting thing, but I said, I know what we can do. How many pages was it? How many? Oh, pages? I don't know. But it was massive, and, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I said, but I know what we can do. Mm -hmm. So I went and I sorted out, sorted out the scenes and, all, and started juxtaposing stuff mm -hmm. and discussing it with Hector and whatnot and why not have somebody else play right. something and so on. Mm -hmm. Came up with one of the, with uh, John Blackwood. John Blackwood, of course. Playing the Rasta man. Said a white Jamaican smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like <coughs> my alter ego, right? He That's was in right. my head. And I was this student who came up uh, married and have a child and whatnot and so on and fighting with my wife and broke up and, mm -hmm. and I was a, like a tight ass 
you know, uh, mm -hmm. man, people would come. And, but but Clark was very sweet, very nice. We walked mm -hmm. and you know we. Th the process was reading the play, then uh, the workshop. Mm -hmm. You break it down, and not necessarily scenes, but sections, chunks. Okay. You work it and you look for the acting side of it, and mm. somebody will be looking for the production values and design values right. and putting it together like that. Huh. Yes. Interesting. Very interesting. Never seen so that. by the end of it, y y you had a total, you're right. not only working to see if the scene could work as a dramatic piece, mm -hmm. but how it would work a as, as a, a theatrical, theatrical piece. piece. Did Thank you ever see any sadness in Clark? Did you ever see any? hints of like something going on beneath the surface? Yeah. Now Clark, Clark grew up in a very privileged background. Mm -hmm. But he once told me, wh which why he loved this piece. I ha we had to come back. I was away when he passed. Mm -hmm. I came back in time and and it was a request that we do something from this play because it was his favorite piece. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'll be saying anything out of line when I say that he had a particular fondness for this piece because he had a nanny whom he told me was the closest thing he ever had to love, mm -hmm. genuine love, mm -hmm. because his parents who they were, what they were, their position, whatever it is, there were certain codes. But this nanny had him like mm -hmm. his child, and she was from the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Possibly Guyana too. She was from the Caribbean. So he had a particular affinity. For but the thing is, you'd go into a room with, with Clark, you know, you'd mm -hmm. go in there. Um, he wouldn't, <laughs> he would go someplace. If we happened to be close together, he'd make sure he goes someplace else because mm -hmm. you can't be stealing his space. <laughs> no, really? No, but you'd sit Ooh. and have lunch and breakfast together, you know, yeah, yeah. together it's fine. But when you <laughs> go to a, a function like that, right. he'd go someplace else. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, but Clark is, uh, and he always had a sense of humor. He had that mm. smile and whatnot and so on. Hmm.